Hello, everyone. This is Jay Brown. I'm the Chief Architect of Heartland Innovative Technologies. And I wanted to show you today the, uh, the new product we just released into public beta called Link Notes. Link Notes is a personal wiki. Basically, it's a note-taking application. Uh, it has some security wrapped around it in such, that, in such a way that all, all the notes are encrypted on your hard drive. Uh, and, and there's a username and password required to get into it. The reason we did that is a lot of people are, are running uh, this program from their USB flash drive. Uh, concern is if you lose the flash drive, you, you, you don't want your personal information uh, necessarily in, in the wrong hands. So, so we do encrypt uh, the, the data behind the scenes for you. Now, let me get into the program and show you what it looks like. Um, I just installed it, um, and, and we get a shortcut on the desktop. We also get a start menu uh, item. I'll start up link notes. The first thing it does is ask you for uh, your name and email address, and this is if you're evaluating the software. Once, uh, once you purchase it and get a registration code, you enter that here, and then this, this uh, form doesn't come up again. Uh, your evaluation allows you 30 days uh, to play with the software, up to five pages, uh, plenty of time to uh, to determine whether the program uh, will will work for you. Uh, like I said, the the username password is required to get in. Uh, I'll show you how to change that in a in a little bit. But when you first install the software, uh, the username is user, and the password is welcome. Okay, and since we just installed, there's really, really nothing here. Uh, there's, there's only a single page called home page. One of the concepts of link notes is you have these pages that you can put rich text onto. There's text uh, formatted, uh, you know, as, as you like. Uh, as soon as you type the name of another page. Uh, a, a link is automatically established. I'll show you that. So here is my home page. Uh, you can put external links. You just need to prefix them. HTTP or HTTPS, FTP, mail to. If I can type. And you'll notice that it automatically created that external link for me. Now, I can also uh, create a new page and give it a name. Uh, let's call it press release. And I want to insert the name of the page on, on my home page. There we go. So here, okay. You'll notice that up in the title bar, it's is the name of the page. Uh, maybe I want to put a a link back to the home page. I'll do that as such. Now, generally speaking, the page name should be alphanumeric uh, without spaces. Uh, hit enter key there and you'll notice that that automatically created a link back to my home page. So I'll follow that link and there's my home page. I also have navigation buttons up here. So if I want to go back to where I was or forward or home. Okay, and we looked at the new page, the open page, there's save, print, preview, and your standard toolbar buttons. Copy, uh, cut and paste, bold italic underline. Uh, we also have the ability to format. You know, maybe you want to make this a, a different color as such. We could also paste pictures. If I follow my Yahoo link here, I bet there's a, a picture on the web page. Let's take this wrestler, copy him, and just 
paste. There we go. So that's my home page, my links to uh, other pages. Let me go one last thing to show you here and go to settings. This indicates where the the uh, page files are stored. Again, they're encrypted, encrypted at that location. If you wanted to run this from a USB drive device, you would just copy the the program files and and the data file files to your USB device. I'll put a uh, frequently asked questions article on the website describing how that's done. Uh, here's the authorized user table. Now there's two kinds of users. Uh, a user that needs to supply a password is one type. The other type is a uh, Windows user and a Windows user is, is already authenticated through Windows and doesn't need to supply a, a password. You can add e either kind of, of user here. Uh, I already showed you that I logged in with with the username user and password was welcome. Let's add another user here. I'm going to add a Windows user because I don't like keying in passwords all the time. Uh, this one, Broadmore, okay, that's the name of my computer. The the username on this this computer is actually my name, so it's a Windows user. I've added that in. The other thing I could do is I could go to user and, and modify the password, which is probably a good idea. Uh, I won't do that right now. All right, save that. I'm going to go ahead and quit this program, close out my browser, and now start the program back up. I still get my license prompt. But you'll notice that time I was not challenged with the username and password. You'll also notice that my login name is supplied in the in the status bar below. So that that's real quickly what Link Notes is all about. Um, please please email uh, us additional questions or concerns. It it is still a, a beta product, so if you have any suggestions for improvement, uh, email those to us as well. Thanks for your time.